guys and welcome back. Today's video is a little bit different. It's about what you need to have the perfect military butt. So it's a pretty simple process as to what you need, but the little carry out is a little more complicated. So my first one is if you've been in the military, in CAP, in anything military-like, even if it's in the United States or anywhere in the world, they pretty much all have the same standards. Your hair is in a bun, a low bun in the back of your head, and it cannot touch your collar. That's pretty simple. And then your hair all has to be whisked back so like there's not flyaways or random hairs everywhere. So that also is pretty simple. So the first step that most people go for is what's called a sock bun. And now you use things like this, and there's several ways you can do it. You can just like put your hair in it and then roll it up, or you can put your like over a ponytail, pull your hair over, and then tuck everything around. So those are so many tutorials on those that I'm not going to do one myself, but I do have another different type of bun that I will leave a tutorial link to in the description box below. Okay, so like I said, the wispies, flyaways, whatever you want to call them, those are also definitely not allowed. So what you always are going to want to have is some type of gel, and this is extra hold for all hair types. Gel, hair glue, style has spiking gel, something like that, you want to have. And what I like to do, because I only, our meetings are only two hours long, two, so I'm there for like three hours, four hours. I don't like completely dousing my hair in gel because then when I come home, I have to take a shower that night or early the next morning. So what I do is I usually put water in and then gel, and then I use hairspray. And then I find that I can brush that out through a little bit longer and delay a shower and do it that the next night, which is nice because that way it's not as busy. And that really helps. And then also hairspray. Hairspray is great because you could also do it on buns. So whatever you want to use, I suggest using both, but that's my own personal suggestion. And final, what you always hear want, well not finally, but it are these hair nets. Okay, and it just looks like this. I mean, it literally is this little bunched up little thing. And they come in like light brown, brown, dark brown, black, and blonde, I think, and red probably. And then they just go over. So if this was your hair, what I do is I just make it big, and then I go over once, then you twist. Ugh, this is complicated. Twice. And if you have enough, then three times or twice, and you just take it around to a circle around your hair. And it looks something like this, and it keeps it all together, which is really awesome. And then bobby pins. I cannot stress that as much as you need bobby pins, they are a lifesaver. I use probably 10 to 20. That sounds like a lot, but my hair looks good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned a little bit of something. And leave in the comments below anything else that you use when doing your hair. And I'll see you next time. Bye.